Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the log normal distribution. So suppose that we have a random variable x that follows a log normal distribution and we're told the following things, that the 40th percentile is 19.9516 and the 60th percentile is 54.9649. What we're asked to do is calculate the 80th percentile. So we're going to use this format here. So here's three examples of how to construct the 90th, the 95th, and the 99th percentiles for the log normal distribution. So essentially, this follows on from the normal distribution, and it is underlying it, essentially. What we have there are essentially z-scores. Okay, the z-score for 90%, 95%, and 99%. Uh, beyond that, what we have is the mean and the, the standard deviation of the log normal distribution. So essentially, really, it's just getting the exponential of the mu plus the z score times sigma. That's how we get the log normal quantiles. So the key thing here is what we have to do is find out what mu and sigma are based on this information, okay? So what we're, this is gonna help us here that the 40th percentile from the standard normal distribution, the z score is zero, minus 0 0.2533. And the 60th is plus 0 0.2533. That sort of makes sense because it's they are equidistant from the 50th percent. So they should be um, negations of each other. Okay. Later on, we're going to use this z-score as well, 0 0.8416. Okay. So let's get the logarithm of both of our quantiles, our percentiles. So the 40th percentile, and we get the log of that. This is essentially mu plus times sigma here. Mu plus the z-score of 40%, uh, 0.40 times sigma. And likewise, okay, so essentially what we have there are simultaneous equations okay so so in the first instance in the 40th percentile mu minus 0 0.2533 remember this is the z score for 40 percent or 0 0.40 is a negative number is 2.933 for the 60th percentile mu plus 0 0.2533 times sigma is 4.0067 okay so what we're going to do is add them together and that works out to be 2 mu equals 7, which means mu is necessarily 3.5. Okay? Now what we can do here is figure out what sigma should be. So 0 0.2533 must equal to 0 0.56, 0 0.5067. And assuming a little bit of rounding, that means that sigma is equal to 2. So in summary, mu is equal to 3.5 and sigma is equal to 2. That sort of makes sense. Now, if you get a value like 1.19997 in a question like this, just assume it's rounding error, okay, that you can just switch it to 2, okay? Don't have to be too literal about it. So what we can do now is calculate the 80th percentile. So essentially it is the exponential of 3.5 plus 0 0.8416. Now that was something I gave to you earlier on, times two, and that is roughly 177.6828. Okay, so just to confirm that I gave you this number here just previously when I was looking at these here. So essentially we were looking at the tables to get these out. While I was looking at this and this, I also got out this just because I knew I would need it later on. And that's where I used it down here. Okay, great stuff. So 177.6828. 177